Sisolsayo in Finland is an ideal home for ospreys. They form partnerships that last a lifetime. This couple is returning to their nest after a winter apart in Africa. Their first task, home repairs. Natural building materials need skillful handling. Since they live up to 30 years, experience pays off. With no predators apart from humans, they can afford to nest out in the open. But the pressure's on. They have only five months to mate, hatch their eggs, raise their chicks, and see them fledged. The aptly named Ruff displays in a lek, where a group of males come together to display for the females. Even though summer lasts a lot longer here than further north, there is a sense of urgency in the air. Scenes of territorial aggression play out across the region. Golden-eyed ducks and horned greaves battle amongst themselves for supremacy. Spring quickly gives way to summer in these northern climes. It's a brief respite from the harsh conditions of winter. For all creatures, raising a family is the highest priority. Kitty wakes lay two eggs on average, but only half the young will survive, fed on regurgitated fish ferried in a relay by both parents. Guillemots also nest here. They often mingle with kitty wakes in high density breeding colonies, sometimes exceeding a hundred thousand pairs. Guillemots lay a single egg. Its pear shape stops it from rolling off. In just three weeks, the chick will leap from this ledge, joining its parents to feed at sea. Scandinavia boasts some of the largest breeding colonies of seabirds in the world. Little orcs, kittiwakes and guillemots, all here to benefit from the bounty of the sea. Early summer is the best of times for most regions of Scandinavia. The Baltic Sea is no exception. Grey seals can afford to take it easy. Hunting and pollution drove them almost to extinction in the 1970s. Now completely protected, their numbers have recovered to about 20,000. They're superbly adapted to life in the water, streamlined and agile. Their whiskers are ultra-sensitive to water movement. They use them to track fish. It's the height of summer. Warm waters and plenty to eat. The osprey now has three hungry mouths to feed. He can't afford to miss. He can choose from a wide menu. Today, it's salmon trout.
the chicks are just a few weeks old and growing fast. In another month or so, they must learn to fly. Then they'll set off alone on a 7,000 kilometer journey to Africa, their first migration. They must leave before the fish they need are locked beneath the ice. If their father doesn't provide enough food, they won't be strong enough to go the distance. He needs to catch up to eight fish each day to support his family. It's such a short growing season that the pressure is constant for both parents. While he hunts, she feeds the chicks and guards the nest. He's perfectly equipped for the job. A third eyelid acts like built-in goggles for clear underwater vision. Speed, angle and depth are calculated instinctively. His wings stretch a metre and a half. Ultra-flexible shoulder joints and powerful shoulder muscles complete his fishing gear. Once the ferocious talons lock onto a fish, they won't release until the osprey lands. <laughs> 